What's up everybody, I'm Jordan Weber. Today we're gonna to go over a full body weight workout that you can perform at home in less than 10 minutes, okay? So we're gonna do a couple stretches, a couple active stretches, and then get to work. First stretch, probably the most important stretch, is to get to your hands and knees, and then we're going to sit all the way back, place your hand on your ribs, we're gonna rotate up toward the sky. If you're able to, try to get your elbow down next to your knee. You're gonna hold for two inhales and two exhales. And then switch. Next, we're gonna work on our hip flexors. So we're gonna get in the half kneeling position and we're gonna exhale as we lean forward. We should feel that in the back hip flexor. We're just gonna go for three rocks on each side. Exhale as you move forward, you feel that back hip flexor. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get the ankle. So go ahead and stand up. What we're gonna do is push into a wall or barrier. We're going to bring the knee over the ankle. The knee should be about 10 inches away from the barrier. You're gonna put all that weight on that front knee and ankle. Switch side after five rocks. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and move into some shoulder work. First thing we're going to do is just make a W and then a Y. And then we're going to put our hands behind our head. Again, Y. And then we're going to turn those thumbs down and reach back as far back as possible without bringing the shoulders down, and then bend the elbows. From here, extend the elbows, thumbs go up, hands up toward the sky, hands behind the head. All right, so let's go ahead and start moving. We're gonna go ahead and start with our single leg reach. So feet are hip width. We're gonna reach forward, opposite foot down as the hand, and then stand up. We're gonna go for five reps. Two, three, four, five, switch, one, two, three, four, five, good, now we're going to go toe touch the squat, so we're going to toe touch, squat down, hands together, hands on the feet, Hips up, stand up, touch the toes, squat down, hands together, touch the toes, hips up, stand up. One more, touch the toes, sit down, hands together, touch the toes, hips up, stand up. Okay, next one is going to be a lateral squat. So feet are about three and a half, four feet apart. Going to reach forward as we squat into one side. We're going to go for three reps on each side. Two and three. Switch. One, two, and three. Good. Next exercise is going to be a diagonal reach. We're going to hands and knees. We're going to reach with our opposite hand, opposite leg. Try not to use your back to extend. We're going to go for five on each side. Switch. Good. Now we're going to do a downward dog push up. So, starting on the hands and knees, we're going to press into downward dog with our head through our shoulders and then bring those knees back down. Push back up, knees down. Push up, knees down, two more. Push up, knees down, one more. Push up, and knees down. Good. Now we're going to go onto our back. 
We can do five dead bugs on each side. We're going to bend the knees at 90 degrees, hands out in front of the chest. We're going to extend the left leg and right arm toward the ground, and then switch. Left arm, right leg, meet in the middle, and then switch. Five on each side. So we'll start with that right arm, left leg, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five. Good. Now we're going to get both legs straight overhead or over the hips, hands down next to the ground, back is flat. Take a big inhale and an exhale. Now we're going to exhale on the way down and take an inhale on the way up. We're going to go for three on each side. Nice and slow, hard exhale. One more. Keep your back flat, we'll switch. Exhale, inhale up, exhale down. Keep that top leg up, exhale down. Good. From here, we'll go to our side plank, onto our shoulder. Make sure there's no issues or pain here. We'll put the top leg over front, press the bottom leg into the ground as well and extend the back a little so that you feel like you're straight and hold here for three inhales, three exhales. Go ahead and switch side. Remember top leg over front of the bottom leg, press both feet into the ground, get up onto that shoulder, extend the back slightly so that you feel like you're standing up straight, three inhales, three exhales. Good. We'll go to our hands and knees and then make our way to a push up position. We're going to go push up tap. So, starting that push up position, we're going to tap the shoulder. And as we do that, we're going to try not to rotate the hips open. You know, five on each side. You can do these on the knees if you need to. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Five, five, good, okay? Now we're gonna go to our back. We do a one leg hip lift. Dig those heels into the ground, pull that knee toward the chest, tee out the arms. Press, squeeze that glute and hold for three, two, one, and down. And up, hold, three, two, one, and down. One more, up, hold, three, two, one and down and switch. One, two, three and down. Up, hold, squeeze that glute, pull that knee toward the chest and down. One more. Up, hold. One, two, three and down. Good. Now we're going to go to the standing position. We're going to go for 10 quick squats here. So we're going to reach forward, stand up. Feet are about shoulder width distance, slightly out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna go to our split squat variation. And uh, half daily position. Right foot forward, elevator straight up and down, push into that front leg, back toe, touch, three, two, one. So switch side, you're getting five reps total, two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're going to go to that lateral squat. Going back, going three on each side. This time we're going to go alternating. One, one, two, two, three, and three. Going back to that single leg deadlift. Five on each side. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of plyo, and now we're gonna finish up. A little dynamic plyo, so we're gonna start with marching, and then we're gonna skip in place. And then go back to marching, and then we're going to run in place. Go back to marching, we're going to go side to side. Go back to marching, and relax. Okay, we're going to go with five jump squats, and then we're going to go to a push up hold. So we're going to thrust down, reach up, down, up, go for three more, one more, and push up hold, I'm going to hold 20 seconds, inhale deeply through your nose, long exhale, full inhale, full exhale. And you can bring those knees down. All right, so that's a 10 minute, nice little functional workout that you can do at home three times a day or as a good warm. -up. All right, thanks a lot.